Hi, I'm Pete Kutzer with the Orvis Fly Fishing Schools. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to put your rod together. So I'm gonna to put together a nine foot five way rod, but I don't have a rod. There we go. So first, I'm gonna take my rod out of its case, and it's usually wrapped up in its sock right here. I can set my case down on the ground, and usually it's just tied in a nice little neat bow. Flip open this case, and then this is a nine foot five weight with four pieces. I'm gonna pull out the lower two pieces of my rod right here, and I'm gonna put these two pieces together first. Where this rod comes together, we call that the ferrule, and you'll notice that there's two dots right there and there. I wanna line up those two dots. When I put this rod together, I wanna to slide it together till it stops, then I'm gonna apply a little bit of pressure and just twist and line up those two dots. Once I feel they're lined up, now I'm gonna do the same thing with the top section. I can pull these two pieces out, I can set my case on the ground, slide these two sections of the rod together a little bit off center, apply a little bit of pressure, twist, and line up those two dots. Once I do that, now I can put that rod together here at the middle section. Again, I slide it together till it stops, apply a little bit of pressure, twist, and just line up those little dots, and now I'm in good shape. The next thing I need to do is I gotta put on my reel. I got my reel right here. This is the foot of my reel right here, and I wanna attach it right here to the reel seat. There's a little opening right here for one part of the foot, and then this little part right here of my reel seat has another little opening that hugs that reel foot nice and easily. Then I can just spin this little nut up, give it a nice little turn, make sure it's nice and tight. Now my rod's put together. Now I have to string up my rod. When I string up my rod, what I like to do is I like to pull out a decent amount of fly line first, maybe about 20, 25 feet or so, and I'm gonna strip off this line like so. I'll tell you why I'd like to strip off this line here in just a second, but notice I'm tracing my hands back to the end of this fly line, right next to where it joins that leader, right here. I'm gonna bend that line in half, and then I can start going up through my guides. If I bend this line in half, notice as I'm going up through, it's a lot easier to see, it's a lot easier to do, and if I let go of this line, it usually opens up and catches. If I grab this line by the very end of this thin, clear leader, right here, one, it's kind of hard to find, two, once I get up here, if I let this line go, even if I'm pretty far up on this rod, I just dropped it, it goes all the way back down through. So, I grab this fly line, about a foot away from the end, I just bend it in half right here, and now I can go up through these guides much easier. And if I drop it again, it opens up and catches, and it doesn't go all the way back down through. Went through a, little, a couple more guides than usual, but I stripped out all that line first because at one point, I'm gonna have to set this rod down here on the ground so I can make it through this tip section of this fly rod. Now I'm pretty tall, and sometimes you might need to take a couple steps away to get it through the top of that rod, especially if you have like a 10 foot long rod. But with this nine foot rod, if you set your reel on the ground and you're pulling that line off of that reel, that can kick some dirt and grit up into your reel and kind of shorten the life of your equipment. That's why I like to pull off that line first. With a 10 foot rod, I might have to get a little bit further away. You can take your hat off, throw your hat down, put your reel in your hat. But once you get that line up through, now you can pull all this line through, you can grab your rod, it's all strung up, and you're ready to go catch some fish.